If you haven't already seen it, this week we take a look at how to train your dragon too. And you know, Brett, training a dragon is not difficult at all. All you need is a rolled up newspaper and a stern, authoritative voice. Oh yeah? And how's that working out for you? Uh, actually, not that great. How to Train Your Dragon 2, or Hit the Tit, picks up where the 2010 smash hit left off with people and their dragons living together in peace and fire breathing harmony. But all of that is threatened when a mysterious villain shows up with plans to disrupt their world of sunshine and lollipops and start a new war. If the world of animation were a rap battle, then DreamWorks just walked up to Pixar, dropped a microphone, and said, Beat that, boy! This is a compelling movie, but if you're gonna bring the little ones, make sure that they're comfortable with the concept of death, because this ain't Disney. Well, maybe it's not Disney, but it's not the animated version of Schindler's List either, okay? Let's not scare the kids away. Now, sure, this movie isn't afraid to touch on some deeper, darker themes, but it's still a lot of fun and has some of the best animation I've seen this year. This one gets a strong see it from me. Now the movie's outstanding, it improves on the first, it's written in such a way that kids and adults can enjoy it, and I now want to be a Viking when I grow up. I say see it. Now this is the rare sequel that is just as good, if not better, than the first. I can't wait to see it again with my kids. They take after their mother. And so, Joe, what have we learned today? Learned. You're supposed to say that we learned to leave the training of dragons to the professionals. You know, the Vikings, the Thraki, and Hobbits. Brett, I told you it was easy. Watch this. Hey, sit! Sit! Oh, sit. oh no. Ah!